Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace and good habits to men at all times and forever. Amen. Amen. Bless O my Lord. Now, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, holy, holy, holy are you. Son and to the Holy Spirit from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen and Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, holy, holy, holy are you. of your glory, angels and men cry to you, holy, holy, holy are you. Let us pray, peace be with us. Strengthen, O our Lord and our God, our weaknesses by your compassion, that we may administer the holy mysteries, which have been given for the renewal and salvation of our weak nature. Through the mercies of your beloved Son, our Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Praise the Lord with a new praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord with a new praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, all the earth. Hallelujah. salvation from day to day. Hallelujah. Declare among the nations his respect. Hallelujah. And among all the nations his works. Hallelujah. For great is the Lord and praise exceedingly. Hallelujah. He is fearful above all the gods. Hallelujah. For all the gods of the nations are vain. Hallelujah. Sanctuary, hallelujah. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. From everlasting and to everlasting, amen and amen, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us pray, peace be with us. Throne of your majesty, O my Lord, the high and exalted chair of your honor, the fearful judgment seat of the intensity of your love, the absolving altar which your direction establish in the place of the presence of your glory. We, your people, and the shape of your pasture, with thousands of cherubim who sing hallelujah to you, and ten thousands of seraphim and archangels who minister to you, do kneel, worship, give thanks and praise at all times, O Lord of all. Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Glorify the Lord in the heights, above in the heights. With the watchers, your memorial is 
is appointed, O our Father, along with the just who conquered and became celebrated. Also with the martyrs who were crowned Christ the King, whom you loved, has prepared for you a resting place on high. You have established your dwelling place on high. Above in the heights with the watchers, your memorial is appointed, O our Father, along with the just who conquered and became celebrated. Also with the martyrs who were crowned Christ the King, whom you loved, has prepared for you a resting place on high. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May your prayer be for us, O Father, a high wall and a place of refuge. May the arrows of the evil one fail. Lest the shaft of the adversary who hates our race and delights in our destruction pierce us. Peace be with us. And when, O oh our Lord and our God, the pleasant fragrance of the delight of your love is wafted forth upon us, and our souls are enlightened by the knowledge of your truth, may we be made worthy to receive the revelation by love one from heaven, and there may we give you thanks and praise you without ceasing in your crown church, which is full of all aids and good things. For you are the Lord and creator of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. In the worshipful and glorious name of your glorious Trinity, may this incense which we place in your honor be blessed, and may it be for absolution, O created by fruits and pleasant aromas, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. May Christ make it to the light in his kingdom and accept your service by the grace of his compassion. Amen. Amen. You, O Lord of all, we confess. And you, Jesus Christ, we glorify. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen and Amen. You, O Lord of all, we confess. And you, Jesus Christ, we glorify. For you are the quickener of our bodies. And you are the Savior of our souls. Let us pray. Oh my Lord, you are the quickener of our bodies, and you are the good saver of our souls and the constant guardian of our lives. And to you, my Lord, <coughs> grant it to give thanks, worship and praise at all times, Lord of all, forever. Amen. Lift up your voice, O you people, and glorify the living God. Holy From everlasting and to everlasting, Amen and Amen. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy 
on us. Let us pray, peace be with us. Holy, glorious, mighty and immortal, whose will dwells and rests content in the saints, to know my Lord, and pity and have mercy upon us, as you are accustomed to do at all times, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Be seated in silence to listen to the prophecy of Isaiah, my brethren. Bless, O my Lord. May God, the Lord of all, strengthen you, make you wise in his holy teaching. By the grace of his compassion, amen. Amen. But you, Israel, are my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the descendants of Abraham, my friend, you whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called from its farthest regions, and said to you, you are my servant, I have chosen you and have not cast you away. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who are incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing, and those who strive with you shall perish. You shall seek them and not find them. Those who contended with you, those who war against you, shall be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Fear not, you worm Jacob, you men of Israel, I will help you, says the Lord. And your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, Behold, I will make you into a new threshing sledge with sharp teeth. You shall thresh the mountains and beat them small, and make the hills like chaff. You shall winnow them, the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. You shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. Stand for the prayer of Shuraiah. Let there be an eternal memorial for the righteous. Let us honour the memorial of our Father with spiritual songs. Let us honor the memorial of our Father with spiritual songs. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit from everlasting and forever and ever. Amen. Let us honour the memorial of our Father with spiritual songs. Listen attentively and understand the pleasant hearing of your life-giving divine commandments. Grant us by your grace and mercy <coughs> that may gain from them profit, love, hope, and salvation, which are useful for the soul and the body. And may we sing and continue your prayers without ceasing at all times, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Bless O my Lord, Paul the Apostle of Jesus Christ, 
His epistle to the Corinthians. Bless, O my Lord. May Christ make you wise in his holy teaching and make you as a beautiful mirror to those who attentively listen to you. Amen. Bless, O my Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 to 18. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Do you look at things according to the outward appearance? If anyone is convinced in himself that he is Christ's, let him again consider this in himself, that just as he is Christ's, even so we are Christ's. For even if I should boast somewhat more about our authority, which the Lord gave us for edification and not for your destruction, I shall not be ashamed, lest I seem to terrify you by letters. For his letters, they say, are weighty and powerful, but his bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. Let such a person consider this, that what we are in word by letter when we are absent, such we will also be indeed when we are present. For we dare not class ourselves or compare ourselves with those who commend themselves, but they, measuring themselves by themselves, and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. We, however, will not boast beyond measure, but within the limits of the sphere which God appointed us, a sphere which especially includes you. For we are not overextending ourselves as though our authority did not extend to you. For it was to you that we came with the gospel of Christ, not boasting of, this, not boasting of things beyond measure, that is, in other men's labour, but having hope that as your faith increased, we shall be greatly enlarged by you in our sphere, to preach the gospel in the regions beyond you and not boast in another man's sphere of accomplishment. But he who glories, let him glory in the Lord, for not he who commends himself is approved, but whom the Lord commends. Glory be to the Lord of Paul. Glory be to the Lord of all. Make us wise in your law, enlighten our thoughts with your knowledge. Sanctify our souls with your truth and grant us to be obedient to your words and to fulfill your commandments at all times, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. The pleasant aroma, O my Lord, which wafted forth from you, at the moment when Mary the sinner poured the fragrant oil upon your head, may they be mixed with this incense, which we place for your honour and for the pardon of our debts and sins. O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Amen. Who shall abide on your holy hill? He who walks blamelessly and fulfills righteousness and speaks truth in his heart and not the seed with his tongue. Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen and Amen. according to the preaching of Matthew. Glory be to Christ our Lord. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his master made ruler over his household, to give them food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find him so doing. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man travelling to a far country, who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made five more. And likewise he who received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug it, dug into the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five, five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. 
His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, who had received the two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Glory be to Christ our Lord. Glory be to Christ our Lord. Let us all stand up as it is befitting with joy and rejoicing. Let us beseech and say, Our Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Saviour and our caretaker and the supplier of all things, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. For the tranquility, harmony, and continued existence of the whole world and of all the churches, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. For our country and all countries, and for all those who are dwelling in them in the faith, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. For a moderate climate and fruitfulness of the year, for the yield of the fruits, and for the establishment of the whole world, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. For the welfare of our Holy Fathers, Margi Vargas, Catholicos, Patriarch, Marmilas Metropolitan, Mar Benjamin Bishop, and all those who serve under them, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. For Orthodox presbyters and deacons, and for all our brethren in Christ, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. The merciful God, who by his mercies governs all, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. O he who is rich in his mercy and overflowing in his compassion, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. O he who by his nature is good and the giver of all good things, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. O he who does not desire the death of a sinner, but that he should repent from his iniquity and live, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. O he who is glorified in heaven and worshipped on earth, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. O he who by nature possesses immortality, and dwells in resplendent light, we beseech you. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. Save us all, O Christ our Lord, by your grace, and increase among us your tranquility and peace, and have mercy upon us. Our Lord, have mercy upon us. Let us commit ourselves and one another to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, our God. And to you, O Lord, God of us, we supplicate and ask, fulfill with us your grace and pour forth for us your gift. And may the mercy and compassion of your Godhead be for the pardon of the debts of your people mm-hmm. and for the forgiveness of the sins of all the flock of your pasture, whom you have chosen for yourself in your grace and mercies, O good one, and love mankind, Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Bless all my Lord. Bow down your heads for the imposition of hands and receive the blessing.
blessing. And grant unto us, my Lord, in your compassion, that we may all together equally all the days of our lives please your Godhead with good works of righteousness, which may content and satisfy the glory of your Lordship. And may we be made worthy with the aid of your grace, lift up to your praise, honor, thanksgiving, and worship. At all times, O Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Whoso has not received baptism, let him depart. Whoso has not accepted the sign of life, let him depart. Whoso does not receive it, let him depart. Go here and see the doors. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, upon the holy altar. May there be a commemoration of the Virgin Mary, the Mother of Christ. From everlasting and to everlasting, Amen and Amen. O Apostles of the Son, and friends of the only begotten, pray that there may be Tranquility in creation. Let all the people say Amen and Amen. Your commemoration, O Marabi Melik, is upon the holy altar with the just who were victorious and the martyrs who have been crowned. Behold, the departed have fallen asleep in your hope that in the glorious resurrection you may raise them up in glory. Let us pray, peace be with us. May God, the Lord of all, be content with your service and adorn you with every beauty and riches, every endowment of his gift forever. Amen. Amen. Bless O my Lord. Let us pray. Peace be with us. Our hearts, being with spring within, cleansed from an evil conscience, may we be made worthy to enter into the Holy of Holies, the high and exalted in purity, excellence, and holiness. May we stand before your holy altar and offer to you spiritual and rational sacrifices in the true faith. But you who are good, denying God forever, nor forever keeps his wrath, turn your face away from my sins, the blood of my foolishness, by the great multitude of your mercifulness. Father and Son and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. In the truth, therefore, which is undivided, we believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the firstborn of all creations, who was begotten of his Father before all worlds and not made, true God of true God, of one essence with his Father, by whose hands the worlds were established and all things were created, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and became man, was conceived and born of the Virgin Mary, and suffered and was crucified in the days of Pontius Pilate, and was buried and rose on the third day as it is written, and descended into heaven, and sat at the right hand of his Father, and shall come again to judge the dead and the living, and in one Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, the life-giving Spirit, and in one Holy and Apostolic and Catholic Church, and we confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and in the resurrection of our bodies, and in the life forever and ever. Amen. May God, the Lord of all, be with us all in us all, by his grace and mercy forever. Amen. 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 Oh Lord, my brothers, pray for me. May Christ hear your prayers and be satisfied of your supplications and accept your oblation by his grace and mercies forever. Amen. Let us pray, peace be with us. 
Pray for the memorial of our fathers, the Catholic Goy and bishops, and of all the priests and deacons and young men and virgins, and of all those who have died and departed from this world in the true faith and of all our fathers and brethren, by whom you are well pleased and reconciled to give the sins of all men. Amen. Bless O my Lord. My brothers, pray for me that this oblation may be perfected at my hands. May God, the Lord of all, strengthen you to fulfill his will. And may he accept your oblation and may he be pleased with your sacrifice which you offer for us, for yourself, and for the four regions of the world, by the grace of his compassion forever. Amen. For all our sons and daughters, and all the faithful Christ, loving kings, and of all the prophets and apostles, and of all the martyrs and confessors here and here in every place. By whom you are well pleased and reconciled, give the sins of all men. Amen. Bless O oh my Lord. Bless O oh my Lord. Pray for me, my brothers and my beloved, that I may be deemed worthy to offer before Christ our Lord this living and holy sacrifice for myself and for the whole of the Holy Church, by the grace of his compassion, forever, amen. May God, the Lord of all, be pleased with your sacrifice and accept your oblation which you offer for us and for yourself by the grace of his mercies forever, amen. That God may crown them all at the resurrection from among the dead and give us with them a good hope, a portion and inheritance and life in, in the, the kingdom, kingdom of heaven. This oblation is offered for all the living and the dead, may be accepted for my sinfulness before the fearful judgment seat of your majesty, our Lord, with confidence. Amen. Bless O my Lord. May Christ confirm your words and accept the fruits of your lips, and may he absolve the deaths and sins of all who listen to you. Amen. And may this oblation accepted with confidence, and may it be sanctified by the Word of God and by the Holy Spirit, that it may be a benefit to us and salvation and life forever and ever in the kingdom of heaven by the grace of Christ. That with perfect love and with true faith we may administer your gift towards us. Amen. Bless O oh my Lord. And we lift up to you praise, honor, thanksgiving, and worship now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. one to another in the love of Christ for all Catholic Hoy bishops, presbyters and deacons and the whole company of the departed from the assembly of the church and for the life and tranquility of the world and for the crown of the year that he may be blessed and perfected by your grace and for every child of the church who is worthy of the reception of this oblation which is before you, and for all your servants and handmaidens who stand before you at this hour, for all of them and for all of us, 
May this oblation be accepted forever. Amen. Let us all confess, beseech, and supplicate the Lord in purity and lamentation. All stand aright and behold those things that are being performed in the fearful mysteries which are being consecrated. The priest has drawn near to pray that by his mediation peace may be multiplied unto you. Cast down your eyes and lift up your minds to heaven. Watchfully and diligently beseech and supplicate at this hour. Let no man dare to speak, and whosoever prays, let him pray in his heart. In silence and in fear, stand and pray, peace be with us. May the pleasant fragrance, O our Lord and our God, which we offer you before your holy altar within your glorious temple be pleasing to you. And may it be for the gladness of your holy name, and for the pardon of your servants and of your flock, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen. May Christ strengthen you to do His will continually. May Christ make your priesthood shine in the kingdom of heaven. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit with us all. Now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. Let your minds be above unto you. to God, the Lord of all. It is fitting and right. Peace be with us. Bless him, my Lord. Bless him, my Lord. Bless him, my Lord. My brothers, pray for me. May Christ hear your prayers. May Christ receive your oblation. And may Christ adorn your priesthood in the kingdom of heaven. And may he be pleased with this sacrifice which you offer for yourself and for us and for the entire world which looks for and awaits his grace and his mercy forever. Amen. And with the holy cherubim and the spiritual seraphim, offering worship to your Lordship. Amen. Bless are my Lord. While crying and praising without ceasing, and calling one to another and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full. Of our weak nature 
In the abundant mercies of your grace. Amen. Bless us, oh my Lord. And for all your aids and graces towards us, we lift up to you praise, honor, thanksgiving, and worship. Now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. Pray in your minds. Peace be with us. May Christ hear your prayers. Amen. Bless all my Lord. May Christ hear your prayers, amen, bless my Lord. May Christ hear your prayers, amen, bless my Lord. May Christ receive your oblation, amen, bless my Lord. May Christ receive your oblation, amen, bless my Lord. May Christ receive your oblation, amen, bless all my Lord. And may Christ adorn your priesthood in the kingdom of heaven, amen, bless all my Lord. And may Christ adorn your priesthood in the kingdom of heaven, amen, bless all my Lord. And may Christ adorn your priesthood in the kingdom of heaven, amen, bless all my Lord. And may he be pleased with his sacrifice. Amen, bless all my Lord. And may he be pleased with his sacrifice. Amen, bless all my Lord. And may he be pleased with his sacrifice. Amen, bless all my Lord. Which you offer for yourself and for us. Amen, bless all my Lord, which you offer for yourself and for us. Amen, bless all my Lord, which you offer for yourself and for us. Amen, bless all my Lord. And for the entire world which looks for and awaits his grace and his mercy forever. Amen. And those who have been signed the living sign of holy baptism. May your grace be upon us, O Lord, even as we have waited for you. Our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, in silence and in awe, be standing and praying, peace be with us. May there come, oh my Lord, your Holy Spirit. May he rest upon this oblation of your servants. May he bless it and hallow it. May it be to us, oh my Lord, for the absolution of debts, the forgiveness of sins, the great hope of resurrection from the dead, for new life in the kingdom of heaven, with all being well pleasing before you. And for all this great and marvelous dispensation towards us, we will give you thanks and glorify without ceasing in your church which is saved by the precious blood of your Christ, with open mouths and revealed faces, with open mouths and revealed faces. Amen. Bless all my Lord. While lifting up glory and honor and thanksgiving and worship to your living and holy life-giving name, now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. O Christ, the peace of those above and the great tranquility of those below, absolve the debts and sins by the church rankings. Father.
Rest upon your church that sings you praises. We all beseech you, raising our voices. Pardon faults and sins, help us with choices. Mercy Your powerful cross is our protector. Bless him, my Lord. Bless him, my Lord. Bless him, my Lord. The mercifulness of your grace, our Lord and our God, draws us near to thee, glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries, though we are not worthy. In truth, O oh my Lord, we are not worthy. Have pity on us, O oh my Lord, though we are not worthy. Through our frailty, because of our many sins. Baruch Mar, Baruch Mar, Baruch Mar. Karwalan, Maran, Malan. Baruch Manufat, Maybuthach. Sadrazi Halin, Shwiche, Kaddish, Machian, Walahaye. Kedla Shawina Bashara Marla Shawina Khunaina Marakadla Shawina Dawiyat Khalla Shutana Matul Akhtahe Bless him, my Lord. Bless him, my Lord. Bless him, my Lord. The mercifulness of your grace, our Lord and our God, draws us near to these glorious, holy, life giving and divine mysteries. Though we are not worthy, in truth, oh my Lord, we See therefore that it is I, I am the bread which came down from on high. Thou, Saviour, said to his disciples, Whoso in love comes and does receive me, surely lives in me and gains the kingdom. Bless the Lord of his angels, Cherubs and seraphs and the archangels in fear and trembling stand at the altar. And behold the priest who breaks and divides the body of Christ to remit our sins. For the Lord shall hold his hand. Fire in the coal Isaiah did kiss. Though his lips unscorched, his sins were absolved. Fire in the bread mortals do receive, saving their bodies and burning your sins. He whose hands are clean and chosen in his heart, when the priest enters before the altar, 
His hands he extends purely to heaven and calls the Spirit coming from on high, hallowing the body and blood of Christ. Open unto me the gates of righteousness. He who in mercy opens to sinners his doors and calls them to draw near to him. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit with us all now and at all times and forever and ever. Amen. Let us all in awe and reverence draw near to the mystery of the precious body and blood of our Saviour. With a pure heart and with true faith let us remember His passion and consider His resurrection. For the only begotten of God for our sake took of mankind a mortal body and a rational, intelligent, and immortal soul. And by his life-giving laws and his holy commandments he has brought us out of error to the knowledge of the truth. And after all his dispensation for us, he the first fruits of our nature was tried on the cross. He rose from the dead and was taken up into heaven. He has delivered to us his holy mysteries that in them we might commemorate all his grace towards us. Let us therefore with overflowing love and with a humble will receive the gift of everlasting life. With pure prayer and manifold sorrow let us partake in the mysteries of the church and in the hope of repentance. While we turn from our foolishness and grieve over our sins and asking mercy and forgiveness from God the Lord of all. We pardon the foolishness of our fellows. Lord God, absolve the sins and transgressions of your servants. And we purify our consciences from divisions and strife. Lord God, absolve the sins and transgressions of your servants. While our souls be cleared from anger and enmity. Lord God, absolve the sins and transgressions of your servants. Let us take the holy sacrament and be hallowed by the Holy Spirit. Lord God, absolve the sins and transgressions of your servants. In the harmony and concord of our minds, let us receive in peace, one with another, the communion of the mysteries. Lord God, absolve the sins and transgressions of your servants. That they may be to us, O my Lord, for the resurrection of our bodies and the salvation of our souls. And to life forever and ever. Let us pray, peace be with us. And make us worthy, O our Lord and our God, to continue without blame, stand before you with a pure heart and confidence, and with our liberty which is from you given to us in mercy. They may all equally call to you. Wachananemar. <laughs>
Supplicate the mercifulness of your grace. Do not, oh my Lord, do not, oh my Lord, bring us into trial, but save and deliver us from the evil and his own. From the evil and his own. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the might and the strength, dominion in heaven and on earth, now and at all times and forever and ever. Perfection. One Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. Good evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray that you're well. For the first time, we are celebrating the memorial, the commemoration of Mar Abimelech Timotheos. During the Holy Synod in 2019, which was convened under His Holiness, Madagirodgis, with our beloved prelates of the Holy Church, a number of synodical decrees were uh, agreed upon. And one in particular has to do with the canonization of two saints, Mar Abi Malik and also Marios of Knanishu. Mar Abi Malik was appointed to be the first of May every year. And Mariosip's was to be the second Sunday of July. So last year we were able to commemorate Mariosips because it occurred not long after this decree. But Mar Abimalik at that time had already passed for his one. And so this year becomes the first that the church universally celebrates this blessed saint's commemoration. So I want to read to you a little bit about his history. Surprisingly, there is a lot of information out there on Mad Abi Malik, but I will just talk about a few details. It says, Abi Malik was born in the Kalata family in Marbishu village in Turkey on the 28th of August, 1878. His father was Qasha Ishaya, and he sent Abi Malik to a school where he graduated from the Archbishop of Canterbury's Assyrian Mission School for Priests in 1901. And then we're told that in 1903, he was um, ordained as a deacon by His Holiness, uh, the late patriarch, Marbun Yaman Shimon. And then uh, that was in July. A few months after, in September, he was ordained a priest. And then the following year, in May, he was made an archdeacon who was uh, to be the archdeacon to His Holiness, Marbin Yaman. And so he would have been a quite a special uh, person to be the archdeacon t to uh, His Holiness. And then we're told that in 1907, His Holiness received a petition sent three years earlier uh, from the com community of Chuchor in India 
asking Mar bin Yaman to consecrate for them uh, Mar Abi Malik uh, to the Sea of Malibar. And this occurred on December 1907. And we're told that uh, Mar Abi Malik, he made his way to Chuchuru and he arrived there on the 27th of February 1908. And in India, he started to serve out his, uh, his uh, office as metropolitan. And his life in India was not easy to begin with. There was uh, many things happening in the church there, uh, issues arising from sister churches. And so uh, he, he faced uh, a number uh, of uh, civil suits in the court of Chuchu. Uh, and finally, in May 1925, he won the final civil suit which had to do with ownership of churches. He was much respected by the people as a holy man. During his lifetime, people of all faiths came to him for their prayers, and they were healed by, the prayer, by his prayers, not only Christians, but Hindus and Muslims and Jews, etc. They came to him seeking uh, prayers and blessings, even after his death, we're told that people from all walks of life came to his tomb and prayed and they got healed. They also came to pray in the prayer room in the Metropolitan Palace where Mar Abi Malik Timotheus used to pray. Besides being a man of prayer, or we should say, because of his love for prayer, he realized that the people of the church did not have a regular prayer life. And so he went to work writing a prayer book for the lay people to pray in their homes. And this was published in 1917. In an interesting note, that this book was written in the Malayalam language, which is the native language in India. And so therefore he worked hard to write the book after learning the language himself. An English translation, we're told, of the prayer book is, uh, was published in 2018. And even after 100 years of writing this prayer book, the people in Chuchu are still using it in their homes. Before publishing the prayer book, he also published a book that some of you may be familiar with. It's called Messianic Teachings. I remember this book, uh, and this was published in 1913, and it's still around today. It describes uh, uh, a compilation uh, of uh, teachings which was specifically aimed towards Sunday school uh, classes. And this book is available in three languages, in the English, in the uh, Syriac Aramaic and in the Malayam as well. He was also responsible for setting up the printing press in India in 1926, Marnase Printing Press, which again prints our church's books in those three languages, the Syriac, the Malayam, and in English. So we're told that those who knew Marti Matthias personally always referred to his prayer life and his zeal for uh, our people to lead a life of devotion. So the theme keeps coming up that he was a man of prayer, and this was noted by many, by his devotion to it and by his desire to see it in his people. Many people came to him with bottles of water to be blessed, and they kept this water in their homes and used it to protect themselves from the evil one. Many witnesses were told came forward regarding that they used this water to save their crops. Whenever pests of different kind troubled their fields, their harvest fields, they would use this water, we're told, and it would save their crop. And it says many people 
in Trutrua used to come to see him for, their, for his prayers and blessings. And many sick people from different castes and creeds were healed by him. And the church put out a call in India that they wanted people to, to come forward that um, were healed by him, that they could use this as evidence to put him forward when they supported or when they put forward the, the case that he would be a saint. And so there is a, a, a process, a formal process that the church undertakes to make somebody saint. It's not something that is done just like that. And so they called on the people and witnesses to come forward and to uh, have some form of evidence which corroborates, corroborates what they are saying to make him a saint. Now we're told that he passed away peacefully in 1945 on April the 30th. He passed away peacefully in his Metropolitan Palace. And now it's been a number, well, close to about 75 years now since he's, or just under, that he's been recognised as a saint in the church. As I said, it's no small matter to make somebody a saint. And the consideration that is taken is done so with the utmost of seriousness. To meet such a criteria where somebody is inducted as a saint, this is the, we talk about uh, the Hall of Fame, somebody who's achieved uh, outstanding in their field. This is the ultimate Hall of Fame to be inducted in, to be canonized as a saint. It doesn't get better than this. So therefore, whenever a saint is recognized, the church has a great cause to celebrate and to, to rejoice. That being due to a number of reasons, but there's two in particular I want to speak about as we, as we finish off. And the first one has to do that we are not living in the golden age of Christianity. The scarcity of saints alerts us to an overall slackening of zeal for God. But the proof that holy people still exist in a generation that we can, at least we, maybe more so our parents or even our grandparents can identify with, is definitely something to be excited about. The saints, they are for us, beloved, living gospels. They renew the royal path which Christ has created by his coming. The imprint of Christ's feet on this path has been made fresh by the saints who have come after him. Like a trail in the bush, if you like to go bushwalking, you'll find there's a trail. You can just follow that trail and it'll take you where you want to go. But what happens if someone does not walk on that trail for a number of years, a long, long time? You start to get regrowth, things start to close up, and then that trail does not become so easily discernible. It becomes harder to keep to it because you're not sure where to go. And so the saints do that for us. They come that way, which is Christ, which he's shown us. They come and they walk that way. And they show us that way to walk as well. So one reason, as I said, for cause and celebration is that because they renew that path for us. The other one is also a great reason to rejoice, and that is now we have, as I mentioned on Sunday, we have now a new intercessor that has joined the ranks and the choirs of the many saints and martyrs with our Lord. Which do not cease praying for 
the world, for the church, for people. Such honour is bestowed upon a person when they are, when the church points to them and say, they are now recognised as a saint. They now become an intercessor. And this is something that we were singing about in the anthem of the chancel. We say, may your prayer be for us, O Father, a high wall and a place of refuge. May the arrows of the evil one fail, lest the shaft of the adversary who hates our race and delights in our destruction pierce us. So we were saying, the church is chanting and crying out, your prayer, Mar Abimelech, your prayer has been validated, has been, been made to known that it is powerful and effective, it is true, and we are seeking your prayers. Not everyone can pray with the same potency like the saints because it is in their prayer that the Lord delights. The considerable importance of these prayers for the church are made more apparent when read in light of part of the epistle lesson today. The beginning where St. Paul speaking about how he's reminding the faithful that our weapons are not carnal. He's talking about the spiritual warfare that we are engaged in. And such, we need spiritual weapons. And those spiritual weapons come no greater than the prayers of these saints. Therefore, may we enlist the help of these valiant servants of Christ who while on, while on earth, in the limitations of the flesh, they attracted the grace of God that they would, could perform miracles. And now having put off that flesh and residing in paradise where no such early limitations exist and apply, to their flesh. They still retain the grace of God and they do not cease to work through the intercessions for the church. As the gospel said today, that parable of the servants who were entrusted with some of their master's money and they put it to work and when the master came back, they were given more. Mar Abi Malik is considered to be that servant who put to work that which was given to him, that love for prayer. And now he's been given more authority. And so, with that, beloved, we pray that this blessed saint, Mar Abi Malik, may his prayers. Keep you safe from the evil one and his host. Your families, for Christians, for all people, especially during this time, we continue to ask and beseech our Lord. And we ask that the saints may pray that this coronavirus may soon come to an end and the churches may be opened and that we may be rejoicing in this house of God. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Now is the time for prayer of absolution. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. Our good God full of mercy, our good God full of mercy, whose grace and compassion are abundant upon all, pour on my Lord the kindness and pleasant love in these servants of yours and transform them in hope renewal to life repentance. Renew in them your Holy Spirit by whom they are sealed for the day of salvation and purify me your kindness from all the blemishes of the flesh and of the spirit. Strengthen the hope of their belief by the help of your grace. Make straight the gates of their deeds and the paths of righteousness. Make them to rejoice with the saints in your kingdom in the confirmation of the hope of their faith, of the adoption of sonship and the joy of the absolving mysteries. 
Strengthen them by the aid of your mercy to observe your commandments and to fulfill your will, to confess, worship, and glorify the name of the Lord of all, Father and Son and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. 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 Let us pray, peace be with us. And the grace of the Holy Spirit be with you and with us and the partakers hereof in the kingdom of heaven forever. Amen. With you and with us and with the partakers hereof in the kingdom of heaven praise you, the living God. Let there be glory to him in his church and on us his mercies and compassion at all times. Christ our Saviour gave us a gift, this life-giving treasure of his body, and blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. gift of grace of our life, give our Lord Jesus Christ, be perfected in mercy is with us all. Forever and ever. Amen and Amen. The cherubim bear his throne. Seraphim hallow his honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> participated in the reception of these glorious, holy, life-giving and divine mysteries. Let us all give thanks with one accord and glorify God their giver. Glory be to him for his unspeakable gift. Let us 
us pray. Peace be with us. It is fitting, and my Lord, all the days. It is fitting, and my Lord, all the days. And it is right at all times and proper at every hour to give thanks and worship and praise the fearful name of your majesty. For by your grace, O oh my Lord, you have made worthy the weak nature of mortal man to sanctify the name of the spiritual beings and to partake in the mysteries of your gift and to take the light sweetness of your words and to lift up voices of praise and of thanksgiving to exalted Godhead at all times, Lord of all, Father and Son and Holy Spirit forever. Amen, Amen. Bless him, my Lord. May Christ, our God, our Lord, our King, our Saviour, life and forgiver of our sins, who by His grace and mercies has deemed us worthy to receive His precious and sanctifying body and blood. May He grant us to please Him in our thoughts, words, deeds and action. And may this pledge which we have taken and are taking be to us, O my Lord, for the absolution of debts and the forgiveness of sins, for the great hope of resurrection from the dead, for new life in the kingdom of heaven, with all being well pleasing before me in your grace and mercy forever. Amen. Amen. Bless, bless oh my Lord, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, holy, holy, holy are you. of your glory, angels and men, cry to you, holy, holy, holy are you. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, as in heaven so on earth. Give us the bread of our need this day, and forgive us our debts as we forgave our debtors. And bring us not into trial, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. From everlasting and to everlasting, Amen and Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, holy, holy, holy are you, our Father in heaven. Heaven and earth are full of the greatness of your glory. Angels and men cry to you, holy, holy, holy are you. Bless, O oh my Lord. May he who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord has invited us to his kingdom and called us and brought us near the desirable blessings which pass not away, neither depart nor cease. As he promised to us in his life-giving gospel and said to the blessed company of disciples, Truly, truly, I say to you, whosoever eats my body and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, and I raise him up the last day, and he shall not come into judgment, but pass from death unto everlasting life. May he bless our assembly, protect our company, and make our people excellent, which came and took delight in the power of his glorious, holy, life-giving divine mysteries, and with the living sign of the cross of our Lord. May you be sealed and protected from all harm, hidden or open, now and at all times and forever. And ever. Amen. Amen. The Trinity by which were blessed righteous, faithful, and the ancient forefathers. Bless this church and be it blessed now and forever. Protect it, Lord, and those who pray in it from all dangers and all harm. Multiply it with all good things like the house of Abraham, and its possessions increase as the house of righteous Job. May it stand strong by the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, now and forever. May the commemoration of 
Mar Abi Malik, be blessed upon you, may his prayers keep you safe, deliver you from all harm. Dukhranat Mar Abi Malik, Abricha Kulakun, Slavatin Natarachum Kul Bisho Khilavati. God bless you. May the peace of Christ be with you. Oh, God.